everything. All right, guys, we are back in Free Code Camp. We're working on those intermediate algorithm scripting. And what are we doing? We're doing convert HTML entities. So what does that entail? So essentially, um, some special characters like uh, and or the carrots or the, the, you know, the quotations, they have these HTML entities or HTML values. So for instance, the and sign is uh, that amp semicolon and you know the this this is for the less than carrot uh, but yeah so that's basically what we're gonna do so the way I tackled this project was simply by um, by breaking the whole thing up into string as an array of characters and then from there doing a for loop and if we encountered any of these five or six um, things I just did a switch statement in which we then replaced it so let's just go ahead and get started. So first thing first, we're gonna create a variable called placeholder. And we're gonna set this equal to the string that we get inputted, and we wanna split it up on every character. Um, pretty, pretty straightforward so far. Next, uh, we're just gonna do a standard for loop. We're gonna say for var i is equal to zero, while i is less than placeholder dot length i plus plus because we want to iterate through the whole thing correctly and uh, if it's been a while since you've used the switch statement the way you start off is switch and then you want to put what do you want to what do you want to check this is basically where you put the value of what it is that you're checking in here and in this case we're going it's going to be our placeholder the the current value of our placeholder i and then a colon and now what so uh, next we need to do our case cases so the case is where you say look if it's this value do some stuff so let's uh, just do what let's see what was the first one so this first one is to replace the uh, ampersand if I remember correctly is the, the correct name of that but the and sign uh, that and then uh, again it's colon so uh, that always throws me off I'm just would like the brackets a little bit better so we're gonna say look when it's that take our current placeholder that we're on and set it equal to this value. And it is this amp. Put that in there. Make sure you don't have that space or it'll probably throw everything off. A semicolon. And then we're gonna break it so that it doesn't keep on repeating. The reason that we're gonna, what's this dot? Uh, the reason that we use the break here is because we're actually using um, some things here that may uh, hit it again. So what's going on here? Statement body should be inside braces. Oh, excuse me. There we go. Uh, this. There we go. So um, the colons are on the cases. The switches use brackets. All right. So when we run that, you can see. Oh, and then of course, uh, if you do it the way I do it, I always. Um, you're, we're going to need, so after we do the additional statements, we're going to then need to take our placeholder, or set str equal to our placeholder, and, but we need to join the array back together, the array of characters, back into a bunch of strings. So we want to say equal to placeholder.join, and we want to join it on every letter. So now when we return our string, it should, placeholder is not defined. There we go. Cool. So you can see right here, is first, that's the first thing. So let's just go ahead and start uh, knocking out the other cases. So our next case, if uh, according to my notes here, is the less than sign. So again, if you want, just do a break before you forget. And then we're just going to say, look, our current placeholder, you want to do it i, is equal to, and in this case, uh, just go ahead and copy that over. I'm not sure why that, what that dot is. Cool. And now when we do that, and all this um, hmm, break. Okay. Right. Let's go ahead and let's just see what this outputs. Uh, it's always good to test your code step by step. 
Oh, again, uh, with the placeholder. Um, make sure you follow your naming convention. I believe what I'm using is camel case. This is what I was taught first in, in Java, more or less, so I kind of apply it to everything. I'm not quite sure if this is correct for, or the standard, rather, for uh, JavaScript. So, anyhow, so we're going to do the greater than sign now. Uh, colon. Go ahead and throw our break in. And we're uh, we're gonna say placeholder i is equal to let's go ahead and put this in the old fashioned way at gt semicolon semicolon. We're gonna run it real quick. Cool, there's our next one. I I should make a note that there is a much better way of doing this. Um this is kind of why regular expressions <laughs> were invented because we're only doing five or six here but you can see how we just did three it's taken you know a lot of lines of code and it's gonna run slower in a, a big application compared to anything else so what are we gonna try uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, quotations so in this case we want to do single quotes and we say look when we hit one of these quotations when we hit this quotation here Throw our break in here, and then we want it to uh, mark set quote. So we want to say place holder i replace placeholder current replace the current placeholder with marks and quote semicolon semicolon that should be that. Go ahead and run that. Let's see. Maybe most marks. Stuff in quotation marks. So let's go ahead and just put this in here. Make sure we didn't mess anything up. Let's see, this may be it right here. Huh. Oh, it's not this. You take out this marks. I don't know why I have marks in here. End quote. There we go. So, uh, just the and quote. And then last but not least, we have the apostrophe. So case, put the colon, we want to break it. Um, in this case, we actually need to use uh, the, double, the double quotes to distinguish here or else it doesn't work. So we're gonna do placeholder, i is equal to at a pos semicolon semicolon and that's that so um, again you could do this with regular expressions and then filter it and um, basically uh, you know replace whatever value that hits that regular expression but for this this also works so um, regular expressions better way of doing it but hey sometimes it's just about getting your code to work so let's go ahead and comment our code because this is uh we're gonna pr i'm probably gonna use this later on in life and even so it's just good good practice so a subscriber today brought it to my point that i've been putting my comments underneath my code which may be confusing because I, I believe the standards put it above so for now on i'll be putting the the comments above um just something to think about you know always trying to improve the little things really do matter in programming so here we're going to split Strings, string into character array. Char array. Um, iterate through character array. Um, check current value of character. And that's what we're doing in the switch. And then we'll do. We'll just do a general one here. If 
of case is met replace with HTML entity. And then finally down here, we want to join character array back into string. And that's that. So I hope you guys found this helpful. As always, keep on doing, uh, tr try and improve your code the best you can. In this case, I just did the comments above because that's kind of standard and that it makes more sense really so that you can read what it is and you see it. So I hope you found it helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and thumbs up if, you, if uh, it was the same thing as like. I'll see you guys next video.